Hey everybody, David Plummer here from Aerial Influence. Thank you for checking out the channel. Make sure you hit like and make sure you hit subscribe. Let's get into today's drone update. Drone racing is coming to Twitter. That's right, this August, Drone Racing League fans can catch the live action for free on Twitter. We've already seen drone racing on ESPN and NBC, but it's free streaming on social media, the wave of the future for the sport. Let us know in the comments section if you'll be watching. Up next, cities will now be able to monitor all drone operations in their airspace. As concerns over rogue drones operated by people with bad intentions continues to grow, AirMap has teamed up with Fordham Technologies to bring us Fordham Skydome. This technology will detect all drones in a city, identify it by its FAA registration number, and alert the proper authorities when an undetected or rogue drone enters the airspace. Pretty cool technology. I can see this one growing around the country. Next on the agenda, are you ready for flying cars? You might think you are. We don't know if you really are, but a lot of people are ready for it. We've been talking about this one for years, but according to Anil Nanduri, general manager of Intel's drone group, we're only five years away from flying cars and 10 years away from flying taxis. Do you agree with him? Do you think we're gonna see flying cars in the next decade? I don't know, I'm excited about it, but I'm also terrified of it. Let us know what you think. We got some good news for our neighbors to the north. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Canada, of course. Mm -hmm. DJI just announced that the following drones are compliant with Transport Canada's new regulatory framework. The M600 series, the M200 series, the M200 V2 series, the Inspire 2, the Mavic 2 series, Mavic Pro, Mavic Air, Phantom 4 series, and the Spark. Basically, anything DJI makes, you can fly it in Canada now. And finally, the Los Angeles Fire Department is getting it done with drones. Since 2017, the LAFD has used drones more than 175 times. Kudos to the men and women risking their lives to save our lives. In Los Angeles, they've realized that drones can help keep firefighters and the general public safe. We hope the rest of the country is coming around. We think they are. We can help you here if your fire department or police department is interested in drones. That's it for today's drone update, guys. Thank you for checking out the channel. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. And we wanna see you here on May the 4th, 2019 for the grand opening of Aerial Influence. This is a 15 acre facility where you can come fly drones, learn about drones, buy drones, anything drone related, especially DJI Enterprise, you should come to us. May 4th, 2019. Thanks for checking it out, guys. We will see you next time.